Hey there, everyone. This is Alcal playing Super Sick World 38, and we're done with World 5. Well, that means we're gonna start World 6. This may come as a shock. So yeah, World 6 looks to be Water World. I was told that this sunken ship. Spoiler, there's a level there, and spoiler, that's the next level with a dragon coin related mistake. Zex C1, I believe that's how you pronounce German six. Uh, that word I have experience with because I've read a lot of the Alita comic and that's the name of a character. <laughs> There we go, that's my story. Wow, this is very, uh, filled in. Like, there is a lot of stuff going on here. This is a BZC, uh, which is a weird way of pronouncing busy, so it doesn't really work. But C is a letter, as well as a letter. So, remember that. It can also mean a letter. Well, like, not like the word letter. Like, you won't say, hey, I'm gonna write a C. Like, that's just, that's just... Well, I mean, you can write a C, but, like, it doesn't mean the same thing. So now I'm getting too concerned about trying pipe suddenly that I'm putting myself into constant danger. If only I had a better thing in my hand uh, to sing songs about things I don't understand. Uh, but because I sing a song about it, it gives me an air authority. And so people start interviewing me about things about that were the subject. I think these planes are trying to kiss. They're not very successful. So is the white thing there a electrode or a dragon coin? It's too white. Like, it's just a light white line. So I'm assuming Jelectrode just kind of chilling there in the last layer, not doing anything. Trying his best. So not doing anything. Oh, that was mean. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to insult you that way. But it does tell me that Sig might not be careful about, you know, if you can actually see things. I just walked into that. That's right. I did that. I don't know why. I don't know why I'm bragging about it. Alright, I'm safe here. Gotta try to go on a pipes. This is the kind of game where you go on a pipe sometimes. Alright, and there, see, that's what a dragon coin looks like. It's a golden oval. And there's a big horse stamped on its side. Now we're outside. Man, that is a beautiful sky color, I've gotta say. It's very mustard and ketchup. Now that I think about it a little bit more. <laughs> but I don't know, man. It's like, yo, harsh contrast, hyper detailed underwater, very saturated marks of color. Once you get out, it is really striking. And we're, we're swimming. This is XC2. This is swimming. Oh, no, we're not. Oh, it's Boss Bass. He's back. Yeah, he's gonna eat some cheese curds. And you're gonna watch. Wow. Yeah, I didn't get any of those bo- Well, this is a goofy, goofy, goofy looking rope. How would you let that rope take this shape? Ridiculous. All right, so. Ah, you didn't jump. I pressed the button, but I think I didn't press it enough. But that's right, you can like, kill this boss bass. So like, getting like a fire or something would be relevant. I'm just not used to that. Alright, so okay, there's a rope down there. It's, it's subtle. It's a subtle rope. It's when you need to tie subtle knots. Alright, well, I mean, I'm safe on this bridge. Well, except for, like, Boss Bass's minions. Like, if he's a boss of Bass, he probably has, like, workers? Okay, I... Wait, where am I? Whoa, I just... Don't do stupid things. I know it's hard to resist. Oh, boy. Yeah. That's always been what I liked about these. Uh... Alright, here we go. Alright, the shell disappeared. That's always a good sign. Alright, so, like, I'm just- there's no reason to rush. Look at that. See, that boss bass rushed and he jumped up and looked like an idiot. There's a lesson here being told. Whoa, you turn around way faster than I ex- I, I knew that was gonna happen. I knew that was gonna happen. I had a feeling. I guess if I, like, don't exhume any effort to get it, it makes it worth it a little bit. Like, I just went in and hopped around. 
wasn't like a challenge. Like I didn't. But is this you are? Oh, you. I, nope. My my timing there. Like I I should have waited until the fish passed. Dude. So you disappear when you're in front of it. It doesn't like override you. So in other words, you get uh, gobbled up a little bit faster than I think you would. So yeah, it's something to be careful about. Like some boss bass, like it needs to override you. Not this one. He has like a kill field, like in front of him. Alright, let's hang out here. I gotta do that. Uh, uh, okay, you know what? That wasn't very pretty, but it worked. So now I've got a hit. We'll see if that impacts anything realistically. I mean, realistically, it really could. Uh, oh. Now I got fire, though. Like, in the one hand, this guy is not fireproof, but in the other hand... Yeah, this is gonna happen. But I mean, like, if I just had a hit last time, I would have survived the final fish and I would have been fine. So, like, that's maybe how you need to just see that. Alright, so, I'm just gonna go over here, I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna jump over. Whoa, yeah, okay. Here we go. Last little part. Yeah, see, that guy, it's that same guy that hit me. He is very well placed. Now we're on the water. Oh, I wonder what this coin means. It's like there's a thing hidden up here. Now I get it. I like how these guys are just kind of chilling at the end of the level, you know, having fun, covering a part of the stars, riding the 30. Yeah, that one fish. So I think ideally you would time yourself so you could kind of run and jump between the two fishes. I just never did it good. So, I was told, not, you know, there are coins a situation with this level, which, fine, sunken ship, two exits, it's like a haunted house, except it's a boat, <laughs> wow, I sure have an eyeball for analysis, alright, look at that, see, you got ghosts, they're having fun, they don't need to breathe, they just have the joy of being surrounded by waters all the time, like, let, no, just being perfectly honest here, I love the feeling of water. Like, you know, when you're like in the pool or a lake or any kind of water accumulation. Like, it just feels neat. So, this is the part with torpedo heads. I'm gonna fly up there because like, I am still looking for dragon coin. These guys, they're just not letting out. Look at that, shooting at each other like that. Like, what has war made of us? I mean, there's probably nothing up there because whenever something was weird like that, there would always be a sign somewhere. Uh-oh. So there's gonna be a P-switch somewhere. Maybe I missed it, maybe not. Now we got ourselves a little generator to go with our fishy ghost friend, fish friend enemies. So we gotta be careful, or, I mean, if it's a generator, maybe it already stopped, or it wasn't a generator and those enemies were placed. I don't know what to think. So can you go through anything here? Uh, no, it doesn't look like it. Because in this game, you use, whenever there's crates, very often, you can just swim through and it's always a pleasure. What? How is this still operationable? Alright, well, I press the switch. Let's see if it changed anything here. Could've. Can we go back up here? Nope. And those solid walls, as solid as they'll ever be. Big old mushy lands. Alright, well I press the switch. I don't know what that means, so I press the switch. But I've done it. There's cannons everywhere, but like, because you can take your time, it's just not that dangerous, it's a little dangerous. Like, don't get me wrong. But, like, you have a lot of mobility. And all these fellas are ever gonna do is go in a straight line, you know? Like, that's, that is 
Alright, so I pressed a switch, so something in this universe will have changed. I'm gonna try and go up here. I could not. I'm glad to have met you today. Alright, so I still don't really know what to expect. Look at that. That guy, he's bouncing around. Wow. It's never seen before concepts. Alright, so... Um, I'm guessing that around where there was those brown blocks and that pipe is gonna be a... Uh, just gonna be a... Uh, yeah, that's right. A uh, P-switch, yeah. That will have fallen. So, here's a theory. So, you, like, logically, you bring it here and you go through. For the other exit, you do something else with it. <laughs> you just press it somewhere else and something happens. And you get a feather here. Can you go back? Nope. I mean, I'm gonna get this feather and lose a meaning. You know what? When have I ever encountered swimming in these guys? The blue cloud. Uh, this is kind of, kind of an interesting mix. I was like excited about the dragon coin. I thought I had four. I was like, hey! But no, there's no hay to be had. Uh, so, time is running out. I didn't feel like I was using up that much time, but I guess the game disapproves. That's fine. We're here now. It's the orange and brown part of the ship. It's like a Mario 3 ship, really. That's pretty neat. Hey, we're in a vertical zone. Uh, yeah, like, that just looks like a ship. It's made of wood, it's in the water. Pretty good. So, yeah, like, do that again, except at some place, you press a piece of somewhere else. Like, I, I can't really see what else it would be. I'm gonna just press it here, but like... Oh! I'm just gonna press it here, and this appears. Okay. Oh, what? That's a... That's weird. I like the way... When everything stopped, like, I was genuinely wondering what was going on, but it's this kind of pipe. <laughs> That is so unnecessary, I love it. Alright, now we're here. We're on this side of the world. The P-Switch was extended so much, it doesn't know what to do. And here we are, in the backside caboose of the world. Oh, another kind of ghost cloud. One that's a lot more unpleasant. Alright, here we go. Well, there's a keyhole. So we gotta go ever deeper to find the key. See, sometimes they're nice and they give you a pathway, sometimes they don't. Time is... Time? By night? Alright, man, this is not nothing, too. Like, the return path while holding the key? Um... Yeah, this is not gonna be obvious. I mean, I have a full load of hits, fortunately for me. Yeah, there you got an up arrow in case you didn't figure that one out. And there's spikes all over the bottom. Oh, but then it stops. That's so nice of you. Wow, man, I just keep expecting the absolute worst out of everything, don't I? <laughs> but I've been trained like that. I can't help it. But no, yeah, once you get down, the ghosts give up. You're like, alright, just go back up. You, f you won! Look at that, creating a landmass, and next time, like, honestly, depending on how Special 6 goes, we might just two-shot this world. Like, there's, there's just, yeah, this, it's a tiny little place, out by the sea.